Hey guys, so today's makeup look is going to be on this bronzy eye look with no eyeliner and lots of lashes. I wanted to do something a little different and stay away from the eyeliner. Also, it was Monday Bun Day, you know, so I had to go simple. Alright, so first things first, I'm starting out with this Be Fine Food Skincare Daily Moisturizer. It has an SPF 15 and I just had to rewind that. I don't know why I liked it. But anyways, this is good because it's going to help hydrate the skin and protect from the sun. Next I'm going in with this Derma E BB Cream and I've really been liking using BB creams and primers under the skin just because it sets a nice layer for your foundation to go on top of. And this is going to just even out the skin as a nice light coverage. And if you already have good skin, you don't have too much acne or even skin tone, this could totally be worn on its own. But if you're like me and you need a lot of coverage, then we're going to go ahead and apply our foundation. I'm just applying MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm applying it with a small brush. Next I'm going in with this Pop Sun Kissed Bronzer. This was part of my Ipsy Glam Bag and I am all for shimmery bronzers lately. Um, matte bronzers just aren't doing it for me. Shimmery is totally summer and also you guys, I am over high-end bronzers. They never give me the type of color payoff I want. Anyway, so I love this one and I went in super deep for the contour and the cheekbones because I just can't help myself. Next, I'm going in with this BB Cream Eyeshadow. It has an SPF 15 from Bare Minerals. It's an eyeshadow base, and actually when I first put it on, this is a new product for me, I'm just testing it out. So when I first put it on, I was pissed because I, I don't know, it was really thick and it was hard to get smooth all on its own. But actually, it ended up being a really good eyeshadow base. It helped make the colors pop and everything go on nice and smooth, so crisis was averted. Next I went in with some eyeshadow, first highlighting the brow bone, oh and I don't know if you guys noticed, you can't see it in this shot, but if my hands look dirty throughout filming, it's actually because I had some leftover henna tattoo still on my hands. I'm going in with Sienna and Orange Soda from the Anastasia Lavish Palette, you can see it's well loved, uh, doesn't leave my side. So um, I'm just going to go in the crease and you see how the base really picked that color up, I was pleasantly surprised. For the crease, I'm going in with this shade called Truffle. It's a bronzy medium brown, and I'm using a 217 brush to blend it out. 217 brush from MAC is my absolute favorite bl blending brush. Excuse me. Um, I've had it forever. And then I'm going to take Rum Cake. This is another bronzy shade, and I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to put it on the lid. Then for my under eyes, I'm going in with this Monica Dar Beauty Powder, and I'm just going to put it right underneath the eyes with a small brush. I'm using nylon as my highlight. This is my jam. Actually, Desi turned me on to the shadow. I had kind of forgotten about it, but it's like the brightest white shimmery shadow. It's from MAC, and so I'm just going to put it right into the inner tear duct area. Then I'm going in with a darker shadow, and I'm just going to kind of shade the lower lash line to add some definition since we're doing no liner. On my lashes, I'm going in with this Benefit Their Real Mascara and as always when I get a new mascara, I wipe it off on a tissue because I really like to build coat after coat. Um, this one was great at separating the lashes and it's nice and black. So I went ahead and did the top and bottom lashes and you can totally stop here. You don't have to do false lashes and in fact, I kind of wish that I didn't. It would have went better with Monday bun day, but you know, I'm like obsessed with bottom lashes, so I added these House of Lashes bottom lashes. These ones are called Precious. And then it didn't look complete with only bottom lashes, so I went in with these Flutter Lashes in the style Kim. Now since we're not doing liner, but I still wanted a little bit of definition, I took a little bit of this black shadow and just kind of winged it out to elongate the eye. For my highlight, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. I actually just bought this. I really like it so far. So I like to use a small brush and kind of pack it on and then blend it out so it's nice and shiny right at the tops of the cheekbones. And I also added a little bit to the nose and keep its bow. For my blush, I'm using this uh, blush quad from City Color and I'm applying a hot pink blush right to the apples of my cheeks. If you guys aren't familiar with City Color, you should check them out. They're really affordable and I love their products. On the lips, I'm going to start out with this Pixie Tinted Brilliance Balm. Um, it's going to help hydrate my lips and condition them for my lipstick. First, I'm going to line my lips with Liberated Lip Liner from Bare Minerals. Um, lately, I feel naked without lip liner, just saying. And then I went in with MAC Myth Lipstick. 
Last but not least, I'm finishing with the Citrus Ginger Body Lotion. My skin has been super dry in the summertime, so it's important to keep your skin moisturized. So that was the whole video. I hope you guys enjoy this look and that you give it a try. Thank you for watching as always. Please subscribe and I will see you guys soon.